Welcome to Pine Thicket Philosophies, the non-podcast podcast where we do everything the podcast experts tell you not to do. If you are looking for a finely polished and professional podcast crew, well folks, we ain't in. But if you want to virtually join a group of old outdoorsmen from Southern Appalachia as we sit around the fire and talk about any one of our favorite topics, well pour a cup of coffee, pull up a chair, and enjoy. All right, guys, we are um, doing something a little different today for a uh, pine thicket philosophy. Got Brady here, Matthew back here, Josh over there, and as you can tell, we are not um, at my kitchen table. Um, or in a pine thicket. Or in a pine thicket. There are a few pines around, though. In front of a pine thicket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few pines. That's the backdrop for today. Um, I'll insert some pictures right here of what we're sitting here looking at that you can't see. Um, God's glory and all its glory. Yeah. All right. We are uh, taking advantage of the Vehicle Free Wednesday. I shouldn't have put this in my mouth and try to talk. Sorry. But I am hungry. I don't know why you'd be hungry. It ain't like we've exerted ourselves today. Hmm. Just got up at one o'clock, left at two. Right. We left We left at two o'clock this morning. From on Rosalie, a, Alabama. A, what, I'd say a three hour tour. <laughs> three hour, nine minutes. Um, but we came up to take advantage of the vehicle free Wednesday. And um, it's the first time Brady's got to do it. First time Josh has done it, yep. right? I've done it seven or eight times. I don't know. Is this the second time you've done it, Matthew? Be second time. Yes, sir. So, um, we just have a lot of fun. So far, um, I'm going to go around and ask each one of them what their favorite things have been and their least favorite. Yeah, every time you come out here, just, just so far. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Yeah. Favorite? Probably that big old freaking bear that crossed the road in front of us a few minutes ago. Awesome. Big bear. Least favorite would be the hills. <laughs> the the hills are um you know what I, I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and call it I think that we're all gonna say the same things. Probably pretty close. Mm -hmm. It usually yeah. goes that way. Yeah. What about you, Matthew? I ain't even really worried about the hills, but boy I sure enjoyed the bears mm -hmm. so far. How many have we seen so far? Seven. Seven bear. Seven. He ain't worried about the hills because he rides his bike every day. He's in shape. Yeah, he's Matthew's in shape. I mean, I might be lean now, but my old uh, legs ain't ready for it. I mean, I'm just <laughs> kneeling down over here, and I'm already ready to go back to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what about you, Brady? What's your favorite thing so far? Well, obviously, uh, the bears being the favorite. Uh, the hills, the least favorite. But I will say... A close second on favorite is the wildflowers. I love those wildflowers. Mm -hmm. The wildflowers are color. They are nice. I was to say something different. I was going to say the wildflowers. Um, well, it's I fantastic. Like the fog in the mountains too. Mm -hmm. The mist. Oh, look how it's changed already. I'll put in a link to a video that I did here from this same spot. Uh, it was like kind of a time lapse of the mist rolling through, and it was uh, it's really cool. I'll try to remember to put that right here. So I'll say sweet and salty mix. No, just trail. So I will say a close second on least favorite, humidity. She is humid. It's starting to climb up there. Getting warm. Sitting here in the sun ain't helping either, I don't think. Well, but it is a glorious view. Yeah, it is nice. I knew we were going to have a pretty good ride this morning when um, I sent out the text at 1.30. Uh, we weren't supposed to leave till 2, and I sent out the text at 1.30, and I think every one of you answered back, we're waiting on you. And the thing is, for once, I was ready. So, uh, we were gone from Rosalie before, too, I think. Yeah, yeah, y'all was at my house probably about 10 till. And then, so we got up here, 
first thing we did, unload the bikes. We went to the store to try to use the restroom, but they had a big sign that said the restrooms was closed. The big line just wasn't to get in the store too, wasn't it? Uh, to rent bikes. Oh, God. Yeah. That was for the bike rental. Wow. A long line. And the thing is, boys, they don't open till 8. Oh, my gosh. What time is it right now? 6 something. Mm-hmm. Which is actually 7 something up here. 7.30 here. BYOB, bring your own bike. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, um, but we rode over to the campground, and as we're riding through the campground, we ride as close to me to you from the camera to uh, two doe, uh, two deer standing there, just looking like, hey, how are y'all? Glad you could come today. So I knew it was going to be a good ride. Dad's like, if you're in the car, I sure would like to run out in front of you. Right? Well, I hope they don't do that when we're on a bike. Yeah, that would be a catastrophe. I like to sit here and watch people go by on the different styles of bikes. They, I wonder if the camera's picking them up when they go by. Probably. Get on, on that side of you, there's a good window there. Yeah. We're all a little off to the one side of the camera. They should be able to get them pretty good then. Here comes one. You'll see right here where I'm pointing. There, there they go. A lot of electric bikes. Man, ain't they though? Big old sissies. <laughs> yeah, but sure would be nice on them hills. I wouldn't care about the hills if I had an e-bike. <laughs> it wouldn't even be an afterthought at that point. At that place in Gunnersville we was talking about, they had an e-mountain bike. Man, I'm talking. It was nice. And it really, the tubes didn't look much bigger than mine on my bike. I, it, did, it didn't have that huge looking battery thing like a lot of them do. Fog's clearing out now. But talking about e-bikes, a lot of people are down on them pretty hard, but that gets people out riding otherwise normally wouldn't ride. Yeah, that's true. And it can progress somebody from e-bike to regular bike if they get enough. They'll pedal some with a seat. That dude didn't need no e-bike. And then they'll eventually get to no e-bike. Which, if I need to buy my wife an e-bike, so then I can get her here to ride with me. <clears throat> There's a slogan, don't die in the chair. And I'll get you out there. Yeah. Away from that old chair. Are you making fun of my chair? Uh-uh. I think that's what we're insinuating here. Not at all. No, Brad. Ain't nothing, nothing about your chair. Nothing bad, anyway. I'm just kneeling down on the concrete over here, killing my knee for your for your uh, channel here. <laughs> you're sitting in a chair. He might let you sit on his leg since you're the new member. I don't know <laughs> if the chair can handle it or not. Yeah, yeah. No, you're probably right. I worry about the chair just with me sometimes, because it is a a uh, Cascade brand ain't bad. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it ain't no, uh... It's no Helinox. Helinox or nothing. Look at the clouds coming up over that mountain. That is cool. It's coming right at us. I'll take a picture. Oh, here it is. Maybe I've had enough snacks now. Oh, here I am getting my phone and it's in my pocket. Look at that. All right, how much time we got left? Oh, we've only talked for nine minutes. That may be enough. You might as well turn it around and let them see it. Yeah, do it. They don't want to look at us. Just pan it around. There's Brad's bike. It weighs about 800 pounds. <laughs> that ain't even soaking wet. Let's hope it stays dry. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in for this episode of Pine Thicket Philosophies. 
Tune in next time as we continue to live by our motto, even bad adventures make great stories.